Okay, I am this is my movie collection. I'm in my VHS uh, area. So this is the New Year uh, for spring update video, and I do have a lot of little short videos for you because I like to have at least uh, four movies, not movies, but four uh, tutorials, however you would like to call these videos uh, on my channel. I might do a song sometimes. I might do a drawing for you sometimes. So I'm gonna stop thrifting for a couple months so I could get caught up with some of these rare uh, DVDs and hopefully by doing that I could get better pop and better chips coming into my uh, food system and whatever's little left over I will try to get a game and fix up some of these uh, shelves that I need to and I'm gonna stop with uh, thrifting for a while because they are marking up their VHS and uh, DVD I, I picked up even some VHS over the past year from $2 all the way up to $4.99. So I do want to avoid that mistake as well. But if it's something I really need, I might have to do that. So that's why I ended up like a couple things I bought that was overpriced. And I do want to back away from that and focus on the things I need. And some of the DVD movies I want to put onto VHS, put a little bit more Stephen King onto VHS. Growing up, it was um that was the franchise horror for me. Stephen King, and then Halloween came along, Friday the 13th came along, Dracula came along, and Chucky, Child's Play, and stuff like that. So Ghostbusters and. I already got some on VHS I found thrifting, some I have to buy off eBay. Been focused on getting little smaller sets on VHS and I don't have Friday 13th because that's uh, pretty expensive on eBay between 200 and 300 if it's in the auction. So I'm kind of staying away from that for a while to get caught up with my TV shows. And maybe get one board every so often so I can finish off these uh, shelves. I do need a better jigsaw or fine blades for my old one so I can finish these properly. I do want to turn this one down a little bit because it's a little bit higher than most and it's a little bit more empty space and I or I or I'm gonna adjust it. So I'm not sure which steps I'm gonna take, but this is built with screws, so it's easier for me to take the shelves out rather than using nails. And I'm going to make two shelves in the front for my DVD at some point so they look like this. If I find wood in the garbage it's going to help me out but depends what salvage is so I will do some salvage on my channel, some trash picking, sometimes if I need something for my room, if I see something I could get then I'll try. Otherwise I'm going to have to buy it from the donation store and pay a little bit more there but I'm gonna try to go thrifting maybe every two months or every three months uh, because I want to uh, get better stuff into my collection and plus thrifting is pricing things up and normally a better movie comes in every couple months so maybe every couple months there might be a little something there that I could get not every month just pick up something because uh, it looks interesting it's like stuff like uh, Scooby Doo, I will want to buy more off uh, eBay. Maybe get more Franklin and Kalu. Those are the cartoons I watch. And Netflix doesn't have those. And I'll try to go thrifting a little bit. Maybe every three months. See if I could get anything for VHS. And as long as my chips and snacks hold up at the end of the month, whether I have. $20 extra or I have $30 extra I will try to put it into a better game because I want to get caught up with my Atari I am getting a little bit more Atari coming in now so Atari is flowing in a little bit better now and try to pick up some of those rare games that are costing $50 to $100 so if I get those cut up there's still about two or three games I want to get that are around $50-$60 I don't have Kongo Bongo yet, so, and a couple other games like that. Um, 
Pitfall 2 I don't have and that one's around eighty dollars maybe a hundred dollars and try to start uh, think about whether or not I should go thrifting every three months or every two months I'll decide in the spring I want to anything extra I would like to get a little bit more cut up the TV shows probably on TV shows for another year most likely another two years then I'll try to get I'll probably have to buy the whole thing for Simpsons off eBay and try to get a little bit more on Goosebumps on DVD and any other cartoons I have on the list I'll try to get Sailor Moon and a few other ones here and there I already picked up the Flintstones uh, Pee Wee's Adventure Pee Wee's a Playhouse I already picked up so I found that locally so if I slow down thrifting now I might miss something I might not so I don't really know because I don't know depends how much food I put back so whatever money I have left over after if I have twenty dollars left over then I might hold it for thrifting but the bus is very expensive in my area so I need at least five ten dollars on bus and that's why I don't really go thrifting as much either because bus in my area is double the price of what the subway costs uh, downtown other than that, I could pick up a little something rare for my music as well. A few more early Dolly Parton CDs I want. I'm not going to get her a rock album if she comes out with it, unless it's going to be for uh, 5 or $10. Dollars. It's not, uh, I'm not going to follow her into the rock thing. So There are some albums she came out with that doesn't really interest me, so I don't bother with everything. but. I want to try to get at least all the uh, early ones that she came out with and then I'll be cut up with her and a couple more on Pearl Jam of the early albums, uh, live stuff and all the uh, ones that were released I already have so all the proper releases unless if you're collecting live stuff then you're going to be buying a lot of live from Pearl Jam sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so but sometimes they have extra songs on them so um, kind of interesting that way and I'll finish out these uh, shelves eventually but if we move from here then I'm gonna have a whole different setup so we'll see how the year goes but these the family's talking about moving again and I don't really know so other than that I think uh, yeah try to get caught up in here with what I can but I'm gonna try to put my main focus on TV shows and put everything in more where I can back into my snacks. End of the month, the snacks are holding up right now. Still got two chips, two boxes of cookies, and another few days ago. And so, do need to get at least one more chocolate coming in. So, maybe a little bit low on chocolates. And that's the popcorn maker I bought. The last thing I bought thrifting actually for a while because a lot of it's going to be going back into uh more rare movies and rare games and I need to build up the Atari I need to get the ones for NES and that's another reason I have to cut back on thrifting for a while because I to get the ones I could not get before thanks for watching and I'll try to go thrifting maybe every three months or something like that so every refund or something I'll try to get a big box TV show anything extra after that will be for a game or for a movie and if I have a steady budget if I have anything left after that I will try to go thrifting even if I have uh, 20 bucks left or something like that just to see if I could pick up one or two uh, VHS or one movie or something and finish off some of these shelves as well so maybe make two more short shelves here but if we move I will definitely take all these shelves with me and because shelving is pretty expensive either way so otherwise I would keep things uh, probably piled up in boxes and keep that in storage so we'll see if we move or not so I don't know thanks for watching